Material System Rewrite Part 1 Dragging and dropping textures onto an, a model to create a material. In the old version of Skyline, when you drag the texture onto the model, it would create a dynamic material. And when you saved and loaded your scene without saving the texture to a material, would load back and create a no material error with red and white squares everywhere, which a few of you users are familiar with. We've got round this now by creating a material the moment the texture is dragged to the object. So, for example, I'll drag this texture onto this sphere and it will come up with this box. And You can now choose whether you want a low quality material or a high quality material. High quality has normal speculars, everything. Low is just the fixed function basic material. The material file name is suffixed with the quality mode, but we'll go with the high quality and we'll press OK. As you can see it's instantly created an uber material and generated the thumbnail in the asset manager so we, it's looking high quality. If we go into the material editor you'll see that it says uber in the top and but it has the texture defined but no normal and no specular applied. This new version of Skyline allows us to automatically apply normals and specular maps to an object. So we'll go to this cube and in the asset manager we have bumpy metal jpeg, bumpy metal underscore n and bumpy metal underscore s. If I drag this texture to that object it'll come up with the create material box again and we'll choose high and press OK. This time the normal map and the specular map have automatically been applied because they were found in the folder as seen in the material editor here. And if I change the normal map and the specular settings, you can see that has happened. And there we go.